Howdy, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Artville. I found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And today, there's just one record. I went to an antique fair, and the weather was threat threatening in the morning, so it was light on um, vendors. Although it didn't rain, it was light on vendors. Uh, just happened into a couple things. Thought I'd hold up. Uh, I'm on the 15. This is chapter 15. And the Adam King, the new Adam King book uh, there. This is where Adam finally meets his child. And he's like, oh no, the kid's got three eyes. I'm uncomfortable with that, sort of, but I'm his dad, so what am I going to do? That's it. The Wasteland Machine, Adam King and the Wasteland Machine. That's the name of the book. So now I only got like... Um, 45, what, how many, 15, 35, 36 more drawings to go, and I'll, and then, okay. So, what did you get at the antique thing? Well, I paid full price for this, this, I, 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 I didn't see any reason to, to talk the guy down, because it was just such a great thing. Okay. Now, a while ago, I held up the, I got the, one of these winking, metal with the same kind of frame for the Last Supper and it's pretty awesome but I think this is even more awesome and I like it even though the the frame is a rusty kind of rusty dirty the plates worn off but it's it's you could see it's Jesus on the cross but then when you wink it it turns into the ascension to heaven with angels and guys on the ground there like hey look at Jesus He's there, you can, now you can see it, right? Okay. And it's just a great, begin with, it's a great painting. And, and you mix them both together, and it's... Okay, so I put a new... I probably should have tried to talk the guy down to $4 or $5 because the light bulb that was in it didn't work. But how was I to know until I got it home? So now I'm going to show it to you with the light of heaven shining down on. See, this makes more sense. The other one, the Last Supper's got a light, but it doesn't make the same kind of sense that the light does on this one. I bet if I sit here and do this for about five minutes, you all be hypnotized and will do my bidding. But uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be right, so I'm not gonna do that. This is just so awesome. Of course, when it's hanging on the wall, you have to do it with your head, like that. So you, because you can't, unless there's an earthquake, like, or, then you. I'm tired. I don't know. I'm just being silly. I'm tired. I went to an art show last night. It was an opening. A neurosurgeon, with nothing better to do, decided to open an art gallery. So she finds a building which is basically a garage. It's a big room with a roll-up door in the front, a roll-up door in the back. I had no idea what kind of business was in there before. But she drywalls all the inside, leaves the roll-up doors, and, and it's like an industrial, an, there's a city place where they keep machines, and all, anyway, and then there's a garden in the back, and my friend Bob had a few pieces of sculpture in the show, so I went, because they had free beer. And what was really cool, Bob's artwork was cool, in case he watches this, he's not going to. I'm just going to say, in case somebody says, hey, Manning Mark said your artwork was cool, you better go watch the video. And then he would be watching it, and I'm, I'm saying it right now. But he said, you may like the garden, because in the garden they did these three areas where they buried stones and gravel, so you kind of made a rustic looking design, but then in the middle of the stones and gravel they poured a lot of crushed glass, not like broken beer bottles, which is how I probably do it. No, it was like stuff that you could pick up and you wouldn't cut yourself. It was like big thick plate glass broken up, different colors like blue, I think, and green. Anyway, but what was neat is they had a propane burner underneath it where you couldn't see it, a tank hidden out of view, and they lit, they lit, lit it so the glass was burning kind of like, you know, and it made for a really terrific kind of thing. So I would like to do that. I have to work, I'll work on that. That's a, 
want to do. Okay, so to the record, one record. So I looked through the guys, 50 cent records, and, and I picked one that was sitting on the table. He said, oh no, that's not 50 cents. I'm like, oh, I knew that was coming. I went $5. I went, oh well. It's an oddity, but I don't. I think five dollars is too high. So how about three? So in true American pick, Pickers fashion, he said, "I'll split it with you, four. So I paid him four because it is a, 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 it's a, a, a terrific oddity from. Uh, uh, is these Sherman tanks? Is this World War II? That's an M14, I think. I think this is Korean War vintage. It's. Combat training, the sound of combat training. So I'm going to play something from this as a sample. Why? Because I have nothing else to choose from. But in addition to this, I think I'll just pick something out of the stack upstairs and present it. And then I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to take a nap. Because the, the, art, the art opening last night, the art show opening, wore me out. It was an exhausting experience. Standing around talking to people and drinking Budweiser. No Bud Light Lime. But that's the thing. You could be a neurosurgeon, have all this money, open your own art gallery with a roll-up door in the front, roll-up door in the back. But if you don't serve Bud Light Lime at the opening of your shows, you're going to fail. Your attempt at getting in with the art community, you know, that's the thing. i got to wonder, like, what is in the head? I'm glad it's in the head of anybody because otherwise art would, you would make no money off of art if it wasn't for neurosurgeons that had too much money to spend on stuff like, I got all into it. Oh, bless you. Never mind. Red light in here would be good, but I like what I put in it. And on the back, they just used, they, they used this leftover cardboard thing. I think that should be turned over so it can, that should be what you hang it with. Why is that upside down? Now I'm going to have to go to the trouble of turning it over. I should have offered him $3 for it. This is never going to come out. You know it's not going to come out. I'm just going to have to find another way to hang it. It's a piece of wire. Not the fret. I'm going to I'll figure it out and you won't notice it. It'll be awesome. Now I have to find a place to put it. Uh, there's just no... I, something's going to have to come down. That's all there is. That's right. Now on to the the sounds of combat training. Open. Open. Prepare to throw a grenade. Ho! Oh. Quickly, quickly, this is hand-to-hand -hand combat and not valley left. Go your feet, get up, get up. Left, go. Yeah. Right hip throw, ready? Whoo! Yeah. Get him, hit him in the head, kick him in the head. Throw your feet. chamber exercise. It is something that we must do each year, as you already know. You will come up to me one at a time and remove your protective mask and recite to me as much of your name, rank, service number, and organization as you possibly can. First man, have a go. 
U.S. President. You. Who? U.S. You. U.S. Who are the door walk and daughter on? Thank you. 